Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to download Monofactory with the Prism Launcher as well as update Monofactory uh, through the Prism uh, Launcher so you don't have to copy your worlds back and forth, things like that, which is pretty cool. So uh, the links will be in the description. I'll give you the direct links to uh, each of the areas. So you go to Prism Launcher, you go to download. We're going to do the portable edition because we're going to also do the portable version of the Java. When I say portable, we're just going to extract it. This is just how I've always done it. So it's there. And that way, if I back this up and go back like five years later, everything's there for it. So we're going to go to the portable zip version. Don't do the ARM unless you're using your ARM processor, obviously. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go and download the portable zip here. There you go. We're just going to save it to our downloads. And then we're going to go to the Java up here as well. And uh, we're going to go and download the latest one as well. So we're going to look for the Windows here. We're using Windows. Obviously, it might be different if you're Linux or something. Um, and we're going to use the Compress Archive here. There we go. We're going to download that. And there we have it. So we got those two done. And do, 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 do. so I'm happy with that. I'm just making sure I have two versions. So I'm like, eh. It's kind of weird looking, but anyways, I think it's because I downloaded one through one and another one through another. So we're going to download those, extract those. Okay, perfect. So we're just going to make a new folder here. We're going to call it Prism. I'm doing this on my desktop. And then basically, we're just going to extract all the files into there. Perfect. And then the JDK, I like it because it's already in a folder. That the way I'll keep it. And then there you go. So we're going to just double click open Prism here. We're going to do Prism Launcher. And then here's the first time set up. So we'll just say, yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, there you go. So I couldn't create a virtual machine, blah, blah, blah. So I have versions of Java on here, but of course for Monofactory, you're gonna want at least Java, I think it's 17. Um, basically a different version of Minecraft might be a little bit more specific. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go browse, but we're gonna browse in the Prism. So basically go to the same thing we're already in, the Prism folder. Go to the JDK there, go to binary, and there you go, Java W. We go open, perfect. Uh, I like to set usually, I use the calculator because I'm, I'm dumb today, times uh, eight. Depends, you probably don't want that much for an instance if you're playing on a server, but there you go. Uh, minimum, uh, memory allocation, I do min and max always the same. That's up to you. Like I said, that's probably a little overkill. The GC might run a little too much. You want maybe four or six gigs, but... We're doing it for this example and then uh, i'm happy with that and then basically you go to your minecraft accounts so you just go to manage accounts and of course everything is on a microsoft account these days uh, so you just go add account and basically i get this code and so i'm like okay allow access to this and yes please uh this is sign code damn it uh, give me a second. I got to go and get a code from my email here to make this work, but it's on the side here. I don't need to show you my emails and stuff like right there. There's the code Microsoft sign in and then accept the launcher. So it was just a little screen that says accept permission way better than logging in with your actual password these days. And there you go. So we're, we're set up there. And then basically all we do is we add instance. Now normally you can just download the zip from say curse and extract it on here. But if you do it this way, you can actually grab it directly from curse and feed the beast stuff. So the legacy, the new wraps, mod rich technic, basically you can use this and download them all. So this is the part where it's awesome. So we're going to talk, go to Monofactory. I believe we start, Oh, sorry. Gotta go down here, Monofactory, here it is. And then you can get the latest, it'll be at the latest. So let's get the non-latest just for fun. We'll take that and there we go. So we're gonna download this, it goes through the downloading, the pack, the mods, etc. Keep in mind when you launch it, it'll also download the library. So we can do a quick launch here for you guys. This is the beauty about this. This stuff happens so fast now. So we can, we'll, we'll confirm that it works. So this is downloading all the Microsoft Minecraft uh, resources and files and everything. So right now it's all the assets from Mojane. It takes a little time, but uh, it's pretty quick. And we're at 93%. We're at the last part. So these are the longest it looks like. I'm guessing music or audio files or something. I'm just thinking there's nothing really large in size unless they're like really big libraries but uh, potentially 
And then, if it's going to work, it should have... Oh, there it is in the background. I was a little worried there, because it's like, usually... <laughs> I don't like clicking the window usually when I launch because uh, I don't know how stable it is these days. Usually when you click this when it's loading up, I, you can crash it a lot. So sometimes you just want to keep your hands away from it. But there you go. And there we go. We got uh, Monofactory. Any second. <laughs> I swear it'll work. There you go. Awesome. And there you go. So there's Monofactory, which is really cool. And of course, we can go to quit here. And the sounds are not on. I have it disabled right now for Minecraft, so that's why you don't hear anything. We can go to quit now, and then you just want to make sure this all quits completely here. And then uh, it might take a minute. There you go. And then you're going to click it and edit it, basically, right here. And then you're just going to go to, I guess, CurseForge version here. There you go. You can see that, uh, I guess we grabbed current version. Oh, they might have had a mistake on there. Oh, yeah, there it is, current. So we know for exact, we want to go for 9.2 here. So we'll just do update pack. So you'll see it run. And then if we double click this, you should be fine again to run it. Now keep in mind, you will lose some of your config settings, things like that. So I'll show you the configs that you can back up. Uh, most of them are going to be the key, you know, your key binds, things like that. I guess um, the way that the update works is kind of destroys everything except probably your save folder and a couple other folders. So if you want to keep some of that stuff, you can back it up. I would recommend always just backing up the instance first uh, before you do an update. And then that way, worst case scenario, you have your original instance you can go back to. So there you go. So that worked out really well. I'm really happy about that. Um, so if we go to options here, let's just do a key customization, for example, keybinds. And let's just change jump to X. That would be horrifying for me. There we go. So we'll quit the game here. So if we right click this, you can go to folder and you can go to your Minecraft folder and you, know, you get your options, files and known keys. So for example, if you change any settings, you might want to copy these. These are your keys, uh, known keys. I don't know what this one's about. That might be different. Uh, but yeah, usually it's the option ones that you want to copy with you, things like that. Um, I'm not sure if Journey Map, for example, gets wiped or it goes with you. I'm guessing some of these might come, some of them might not. But this is where backups are important. So if you right click this, you can just do this so you can copy this or export it. So you can export the whole thing as well. But just do a copy and then just do backup 9.2 beta or something like that. It might have been 0.92. I'm not sure. Let's do put zero. But anyway, so you get the idea. So you can just do a copy of the instance. And then that way I can go ahead and do the update on this one. And then I'll have a backup on there. And that is pretty much it for you guys to learn how to use the Prism Launcher, especially to download different mod packs. Hopefully this was useful for not just Monofactory, but uh, other ones that you guys are interested in. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a Let's Play series on Monofactory. I'm really looking forward to it. I don't think I'll be doing a server. I kind of want to do a server, but I just don't know if you can really do a public server for a pack like this these days. Um, I'll consider it anyways. I got some time, but uh, either way, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.